What is up YouTube? Calvin from I-95 Muscle coming at you today. This time with a beautiful 1985 C10 short bed, two wheel drive. I guess that would be insinuated with the C in the C10. Pretty nice silver exterior paint. New grill, headlight surrounds, bumper, foos wheels as you saw. And it's what's under the hood that makes this thing truly amazing. So let's check this thing out here. <laughs> Interior looks pretty nice. It is a black on red setup. Pretty good looking truck. And let's pull out the key to get this thing fired up. It doesn't matter if it's ice cold or uh, warm. Just a little twist of the key, she fires up because under the hood, we are rocking with a Edelbrock Pro Flow multi-port fuel injection, Blueprint Engine 383. In this case, we got serpentine belt setup. We do have the aluminum Blueprint Engine heads. They doing their own casting now? I, I guess I didn't realize that, but 383 stroker, um, there's your uh, Edelbrock EFI box. It is actually all controlled with a little tablet that we have inside the, the truck there. Power brakes, power steering, um, AC, so that's important, it does have AC. And pretty nicely done, so super clean truck. I don't think there's any rust on this guy. Nice big aluminum radiator. Pretty thick guy. So electric fans. It actually has hood insulation, which is non-existent on most of these. And I like how they painted all the bracketry black and the alternator black. And looks pretty good. So again, pretty solid truck. We're gonna take this one for a spin right around the building here. It's got a good stance. And looks like all the gauges are working. And like I said, we do have AC, got a nice new radio, JL audio speaker back here, little K5 console, pretty cool. And I think the window motors are a little bit slow, a lot of bit slow. <laughs> But that's okay because the owner is letting you have uh, some new window motors, uh, which are, uh, maybe they're in here. Yeah, there you go. New window motors available in there. That tablet is the uh, tablet, I think, for the EFI controller. Let's go ahead and take this thing for a little spin, though. It sounds good. Let's go ahead and... Come on, give me some daylight. I'm trying to get you guys some of this sound. Hold on one second. Fun fact, if you help it down, it goes down faster. This is a 700R4. It does have a shift kit. So this one tends to shift a little early, but saves you on gas and uh, wear and tear but it shifts very quick, so. Oh yeah, just plant you in your seat. This thing actually goes pretty good. Um, yeah, all in all, super nice truck. Could use a couple little odds and ends, but nothing crazy. And Probably embarrass some people that didn't realize that this thing had a little 383 in it because this thing's scoots pretty good. Oh wow. 
yeah, it, it, it does a good job of hooking too. I just don't, didn't expect that. I expected it would just roast the tires, but it's not. Um, I can tell you that the uh, previous owner was driving it. He would drive it a lot, actually. So he'd drive it from, you know, Jacksonville over to uh, the Fayetteville area. And, you know, he actually put miles on it. So it's always good because then you know that uh, it's been, you know, well maintained and it's uh, dependable enough you can take it on a trip. And in this case, that uh, blueprint engine. Um, I think I can't remember exactly how many miles he said was on the build. I want to say maybe 10,000 miles or so. Uh, don't quote me, I'd have to double check on that, but I think that's about what it was. nice because it's not so loud that it's uh, a pain to drive or something that you don't enjoy driving so it just has a really good sound to it I hit that blinker with my knee when I got out <laughs> but that'll wrap this little video up on the 85 C10 Again, 383 stroker, 700 R4, shift kit, real nice truck. You could probably hop in it and drive it to California. So if you're one of the few people that are probably going to inquire from states and states away, rest assured, you could probably fly in and drive it home. Well, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and until next time.